All right, now let's take a look at uh, factorization by common factors. Factorization is actually a process whereby you express algebraic expression into two or more factors. And uh, it's actually the opposite of expansion. So let's take a look at an example over here. We have negative 3x squared plus 6x, and we are supposed to factorize it. So how do we factorize it? Um, expansion, by means of expansion, we, we are actually multiplying terms to get our answers. So when we are factorizing, we are actually doing division. Okay, so let's take a look at it. negative 3x squared plus 6x. Okay, So when we are doing factorization, right, we want to look at what is common between the terms. Okay, The first term is negative 3x squared. The second term is plus 6x. Right? So we look at numbers first. Okay, What is common between 3 and 6? We realize that the factor, common factor between 3 and 6 is 3. So when we do a division, we will actually divide by 3. Okay. So when we divide by 3, we will get negative x squared plus 2x. Okay. How do we do that? 3 divided by 3, you get 1. Okay. Then negative x squared, you divide accordingly, you get just negative x squared. Okay. Then followed by plus 6x. So this positive 6x, when we divide by 3, we get positive 2 plus 2 then x just follow through okay after that we can actually divide some more we can divide by x okay because the common factor between x squared and x is x we can divide by x so now we'll get negative x plus 2 okay why is uh, x squared divided by x uh, x okay we can think of it this way x squared is actually x times x over x so when we actually do a division we can cancel off the x we're left with a single x that's why negative x squared divided by x will give us negative x right okay so for this question our final answer will be negative 3x squared plus 6x will be equals to Okay, we will multiply these two terms. Okay, so 3 times x, we will get 3x. And then this one will be what is remain. So open bracket, negative x plus 2. And this will be our answer. Right? So when we do factorization by common factors, what we are doing is we are just taking out the common factors. And then this, this pair will come here. Okay, and then this will come here. Okay, so this will be our how we get the answer for the first question. Okay, let's take a look at the second example. Now over here we have another set of uh, variables and uh, algebraic expressions. So we can actually uh, do a division first. Two y squared plus six y minus twelve x y. Okay, I'll do a division. Okay, so what is common between 2, 6, and negative 12? You realize the common factor is 2. We can divide by 2 first. Okay, so after dividing by 2, I'm left with y squared. Okay, plus, okay, 6 divided by 2, I'll get 3. So 3y. Okay, then negative 12 divided by 2, we'll get negative 6. Then followed by xy. Okay, then we look further. Are there any more common factors? Okay, so we realize that there's a y here, there's a y here, there's also a y here. We can continue dividing by y. Right? So y squared divided by y, same as what we've done earlier. Okay, x squared divided by x, we get left with x. y squared divided by y, we are left with y. Okay, plus okay, 3y divided by y. Okay, so y divided by y, okay, you just cancel off. Okay, it's 1 divided by 1, so we are left with 1. So 3y divided by y, we are left with 3, okay, minus 6x, okay, y divided by y, we are left with 1, so this is the answer, okay. So now the answer for this question, 2y squared plus 6y minus 12xy will be equals to, okay, 
we'll have this factor 2y okay multiply by okay this factor y plus 3 minus 6x okay are you clear about this